Markets are higher this morning. Check futures. We are uh, looking to extend a three-day winning streak. Dow Industrial is up 150, half a percent. The S&P 500 is up 20 points. And the Nasdaq right now up 76. Growth in the lead. Joining me right now is Wealth Consulting Group CEO Jimmy Lee. Also joining the conversation all morning long this morning is the Wall Street Journal's assistant editorial page editor. James Freeman is here. Republican strategist and lead partner at the Madison firm. Jonathan Madison is here. Great to see everybody this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Jimmy, kicking things off with you, even with the volatility we've seen, this market is still near record highs, and we are looking at a, another week of gains this week. How do you want to allocate capital? Well, I don't think there's anywhere else to go uh, besides equities, Maria. And good morning. Good to see you again. Um, I think that these pullbacks are, are obviously have been set up so far for investors to get cash into the market. Uh, we're bullish on equities. And we think that uh, unless, you know, we get the politicians screwing it up here with bad tax policy or anti-business policies, um, the stock market has a lot more room to go. And uh, we're, you know, again, the, the interest rates going back down uh, is allowing big tech stocks to uh, set new highs again or get close to new highs. Uh, and we expect that. But we would be careful about that trade as interest rates go up and later on in the year. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy, that's one headwind, right? Later on in the year, higher interest rates. We may very well begin this conversation uh, in terms of the Federal Reserve next week, certainly Jackson Hole, which is happening in August. So that's one headwind. You said unless the politicians screw it up with higher taxes, well, guess what? That's what they're doing, right? President Biden wants to jam through a higher tax package through reconciliation. How much of a headwind is this? If you see this policy playing out in that way, do you want to sell stocks? Well, I, I do believe it's a big risk, but I think cooler heads will uh, win, I hope, and that uh, we don't get anything okay. that's uh, too negative for the economy and for Americans and, and for investors. And so um, we're hoping that, uh, you know, we will get higher taxes, of course, but not in and maybe some of the discussions that we've heard from the White House. Uh, you know, how, how bad it could be or going after the wealthy and, and business owners and so forth. And so I don't think that uh, higher taxes will necessarily hurt the large companies out there, but we really don't want to hurt the small business owners and uh, that employ a lot of Americans. We need to get, you know, these jobs filled and uh, the supply shortages that we've had. I think uh, we're actually this Delta variant is, is actually helping a little bit with that, meaning that if the, if the economy was open globally 100%, I think the inflation issues that we were fearing would have been a lot worse. All right. That, that's, a, that's a fair point. The Federal Reserve continues to say inflation is temporary. Meanwhile, next week is a big week, Jimmy, for technology companies. Uh, earnings, Alphabet, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, all reporting in the week ahead. What are you expecting from this uh, next crop of earnings within tech uh, after many of these stocks hit record highs just in the last couple of weeks? Uh, Maria, I expect earnings uh, from those companies to be fantastic. I know that we're early in the season, but over, almost 90 percent of companies have beat earnings so far, over 80 percent on the top line beating uh, revenues uh, forecasts. And I don't think that's going to be any different for those names that you just mentioned. And uh, I think we're set up to, to see new highs potentially in some of those companies. And so I'm expecting uh, good numbers. Uh, I know the fear is, though, in the second half of the year that that could uh, change and that we could be peaking in earnings. But I think, again, we're, we're set up for an economic boom. Uh, I think the biggest risk to that are the politicians. Yep, for sure. And, and that's what we're seeing in Washington right now. Let me bring in our panel. Uh, James Freeman, your thoughts. You've been talking and writing about a strong economy uh, for some time now. We're looking at peak growth, likely, because things will slow down next year, expected anyway, right in the face of perhaps new policy uh, that will impact the economy uh, having to do with higher taxes. Yeah, I think uh, the the hope that uh, maybe you cling to in, as far as avoiding some of those taxes is that uh, uh, the inflation or the possibly slowing growth uh, uh, scares some uh, moderate uh, uh, Democrat senators to pull back from the full uh, three and a half or five trillion dollar plan, depending on how you do the math. But uh, 
I'm wondering, yeah. uh, Jimmy, you mentioned how you have to be in equities right now, and it kind of makes sense in this crazy world we're in where you have all, so many bonds delivering negative real returns, sort of investors uh, paying borrowers for the, for the pleasure of taking on their credit risk. Uh, this obviously is going to change, as you said, when rates go up. But for now, when, when you talk to investors, do you say you throw out the traditional uh, asset allocation formulas? You really ought to be completely in stocks? Or how do, you, how do you look at it for someone who wants to put in place a long-term plan right now? I think fixed income still has its place, but uh, I certainly am, am a fan of maybe moving it up a notch on a risk profile for many investors, not just for now, but even in the long term. I, I, you know, I think interest rates probably stay low for the time being, but if you're talking about longer term and for, for you know, longer term money, I think that uh, you have to be more allocated towards stocks and maybe historically rates are going to go up. And um, you know, let's face it, we have inflation today. And even if the numbers don't uh, show, well, numbers do show it, but even if some of the numbers look like they're still, they may be tame, I think that uh, inflation, having good inflation hedges is very important. And I think the best place you get that is in equities currently. So while I don't think bonds are, are done, I, and they have their place in a portfolio, but you know, I would also be very careful in how you construct your bond portfolios. And uh, you know, they can present risk to investors who think that they're very safe. Yeah. Well, it's interesting to look at uh, bond yields, uh, where they are. Even as the Federal Reserve signals higher rates are coming, uh, we see uh, rock bottom numbers, uh, certainly at the 10 year uh, right now. Jimmy, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for your insights this morning. Jimmy Lee.